I'm Susan Rogers. I'm a screenwriter. I'm a senior lecturer at Royal Holloway, University of London. I run a program called MA in Feature Film Screenwriting. And I've been part of a group um, working from the Film Council, rather informally, looking at the underrepresentation of women screenwriters. And the reason I got interested in that um, was because I had, there were a number of years, I had very small numbers of women applying. And I, it just kept bugging me. Why are they not applying? I'd understood if they were applying to do an MA in feature screenwriting. And I understood that numbers were up on, on programs which were teaching television and screenwriting. But the fact that there were very few applying to do just features intrigued me and interested me. So I've been part of this, this group. And it became clear, and I actually had always known and noticed this, that there was not just very little um, information about screenwriters, there was actually no information about screenwriters. And when the opportunity came up to do a report where I could actually go out and talk to screenwriters of British films and ask them about their employment conditions, who they were, I jumped at it. And the report is really based on that. It was, it was subsidised and commissioned by the UK Film Council from the, the um, research committee, from the diversity group and from the development, film development group from the Film Council. And what I did was just take 40 randomly selected British films over that were released in Britain, certified as British films. They were released over 2004, 2005, which were the earliest days we had available. And from that, we managed to find the 40 films had 63 screenwriters credited on them. And we sent all these 63 screenwriters a very simple questionnaire. And we asked them very basic questions. And these are some of the responses. I'm going to look down here. They were um, 12 of the 63 screenwriters were women. And of those, one was British. So there was one British woman in, in that selection of, of, of British films. The others, there were American. There were six who were American. Um, there was two who were dual UK American citizens, one French, one Danish, and one Canadian. There were, um, so 17.5% of the films had a female screenwriter. Uh, in fact, 61% of all the screenwriters in the survey were not British. So that left um, maths being what it is. They were 39% were British of these certified British films. That was, that was one of the things which actually I don't think any of us were expecting or had known to be the case. I don't know that there's anything, I think it's quite interesting. We're used to it in terms of actors. We're used to it in terms of cinematographers and directors, I don't think we'd understood that there were so many writers moving perhaps backwards and forwards across the Atlantic and perhaps also across the Channel and into Europe. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant to recommend, to, to recommend what the industry should do. I think it's presumptuous. I really actually want the industry to feel challenged, to look at how they source new writers, I would like, I would love, these are my recommendations, I would love British writers to write more, write for theatre, write for television, write for radio, um, write, because you're not going to get, you know, as a new writer, you're not going to have opportunities to write a feature film off the bat. You might write speculative scripts, but you're going to have to prove yourself as a professional writer, you're going to have to get some credit somewhere. So write in other forms. And 77% of the writers that we talked to in this survey were had written television. I think it's 27% had written theatre. And I would say a lot of our, in my opinion, our most interesting writers do have a theatre background. And a lot of our writers have um, written radio, which surprised me. 23% had written radio. I think that was generally people who write comedy had come from writing, had had, had credits of, uh, at some point in radio comedy sketch writing. So there are lots of recommendations here. I mean, I to single out one or two, I think is just not realistic. I would. I think there's a lot more research can be done. I'd love to keep talking to writers. I find it completely fascinating. It, they're the people I find most interesting in the film industry, partly because I think 
we don't have to compete we're, because what we have is in our heads and no one actually can replace us. We are who we are. I mean, we write because we have ideas and we have things we want to say. So we're all unique. We all have something different to say. So there is an opportunity with festivals like this to form a sort of a fellowship amongst ourselves where we can support and help each other and also honor and respect each other's work. It's been, I think for me, really great to meet Abby Morgan, Diana Sana. I've just met Andrea Gibb. It's great to meet new writers. I had a chance to meet David Hare yesterday. I mean, I don't normally re meet writers because I'm at work writing or I'm with novice writers. So I, I think the festival does something quite extraordinary and quite different that I haven't seen anywhere else in Britain, at least.